So what should be the order of the subject which I need to follow uh, when we are preparing for gate mechanical engineering? Okay. So this is the question which I'm going to answer in this video. Let us start the video. This is Vinod from Endurance Engineering Academy. So dear students, uh, when the students started to prepare for a gate examination, so I'm going to stick with mechanical engineering because I am uh, uh, I'm well versed in that. So I'm just going to talk about that area. So let us consider that there is a student who is starting his mechanical engineering, uh, gate mechanical engineering preparation, that is gate ME preparation. Now when he is starting this uh, gate ME preparation, he might be having a doubt because if you go through the syllabus, the syllabus is very vast. Okay, it's not like one or two subjects of any one semester. It is like a subject of uh, all the subjects which you studied during your uh, uh, majorly from third semester, fourth semester, fifth and sixth. Okay, like majority of the subject which you covered in this four semesters will be there in gate syllabus. And of course, engineering mathematics and engineering mechanics will also be there, which you would have studied in your first semester. Okay, so majorly this is how the syllabus was oriented. And once if you go through the syllabus, uh, students without having a proper guidance, okay, will be having a doubt which subject to start, which subject to uh, uh, which which will be the ideal subject to start and proceed preparing. Okay, so let me just give you this information clearly. If you are a fresh aspirant, if you are going to start the preparation now, or you already started the preparation, but not not for uh, like you you have started maybe before one month or one and a half month, or you are about to start your preparation. Maybe you are in your second year or in your third year or something like that. Okay, so you you are about to start your preparation or you already started before some one or two months or you are just now you are going to start okay so this video is going to be useful for all those three categories but for repeaters which means the students who already prepared last year uh, if you are going to prepare again which means already you have you would have uh, have an idea so if you already have an idea then it is fine for you okay so uh, for the fresh aspirants and also for the aspirants who are about to start your preparation or they started recently okay this video is going to be very useful right so which subject i need to start with as i said already if you have a hample of time let me give you the example ample of time in the sense eight months to 12 months okay or even more okay suppose if you are preparing for two years suppose if you are in uh, second year and you are start, you are going to prepare okay then you will be having two years right so eight months to 12 months i will feel that that is the minimum time which you need to give for your gate preparation if you are if you are doing your gate preparation along with something else if you are taking a break eight months will be enough but if you are going to prepare along with your uh, engineering or along with your job then even 12 months won't be sufficient okay 12 to 15 will be the ideal okay but as of the plan, if you have 8 to 12 months as of now, then this um, uh, order will be ideal. If not, for example, you have only 3 months, you have only 4 months, that is you have only some 100 days or 110 days or 120 days, then this plan is not going to be suitable for you. Okay, then how to secure 50 plus marks? Okay, so in three months or three and a half months, I have already made a video. Okay, so you can just go through that uh, video. I will attach that video in the description. You can go through that. Okay, right. So now, if you have a solid 8 to 12 months, so that is the reason why I am making this video now in the month of May, June. It's an ideal time where you can, uh, where you, most of the students will be starting their preparation. So how to start? That is what I'm going to say. here. Yes. See, it is simple. The first subject, which always I will recommend you is to go with engineering mechanics and engineering mathematics. So I'm not saying one subject, I'm giving you two subjects, but there is a reason for it. See, these are the two subjects which acts as a base for many other subjects okay and engineering mathematics also I, i'm not asking you to cover the entire engineering mathematics at the beginning itself because for mechanical engineering if you stick with if you're able to cover differential calculus internal calculus and the vector calculus and differential equation okay if you're able to cover these things at the beginning those are the topics which is going to be helpful in other topics See the balance left out linear algebra probability complex number numerical methods you can plan it later also okay you can plan it a little bit later but these things these topics especially calculus if you're able to cover it at the beginning it's going to be very useful for other subjects and also it has a good weightage calculus alone it has some two to three weightage two to three marks and differential equations two marks so around five marks 
only in this topics okay it has a weightage and also it is going to be very useful for other subjects that is why i am saying that engineering mathematics and engineering mechanics is the ideal subject to start with and engineering mechanics if you take it's a it's ideal for almost many subjects for example strength of materials okay so many topics from engineering mechanics like centroid mass moment of inertia area moment of inertia and what not uh, the basic of free body diagram trusses even trusses also when strength of materials there was a question which is linked with the trusses so if you go for strength of materials many things we need from engineering mechanics and also if you go for theory of machines many things we need from engineering mechanics so without engineering mechanics studying strength of materials and theory of machines is not possible okay no, i won't say that completely not possible but it is like uh, there will be a continuity which you are going to have from engineering mechanics to strength of materials from engineering mechanics to theory of machines of course if you are starting late as i said already if you have only 100 days or uh, 150 days 120 120 days something like that then you won't able to invest more time on mechanics at the beginning so that time you need to concentrate on the core topics like strength of materials of course okay that is a different strategy if you have lesser time but if you have more time full time if you are preparing for full time for balance 7 uh, to 8 months then ideally you can go with engineering mechanics plus engineering mathematics as your first subject either you go with mechanic mathematics that is complete calculus vector calculus differential equation and engineering go for engineering mechanics next so these two subjects by covering these two you will get a base you will get a base for covering other subjects okay so now i said that what will be the ideal subject to start okay these are the two subject which is ideally uh what is that if you have to go with the same order these are the two subjects but what are what are the subject which you should not start at the beginning see even if you are not starting these two also uh based on the time period which is available and based on the situation of the student even me the students who are consulting me suppose the students student have seven months but uh they are uh, it's something like they have their job and also they need to prepare which means they can invest less time per day they are able to invest only two hours or two and a half hours per day then i will alter the strategy a little bit i won't ask them to cover mechanics at the beginning i will ask them to cover strength of materials or i will i will change it according to the weightage and also the subject which they can cover without uh, without having any discontinuity okay right and one more thing is in our course when i was discussing strength of materials i will take when i was in strength of materials course i will take many inputs from engineering mechanics and i will give it in strength of materials so you won't have that discontinuity okay in our course that is fine where i was uh, right so these are the two subjects which i said which you can ideally start but what are the subject which you, which you should never start at the beginning if you are a fresh student you should never start if anyone say you to start with production or manufacturing engineering please please don't do it see you might uh, say that sir manufacturing production has a heavy weightage so i will start at the beginning you should never do that see manufacturing and production subject is something which has uh, what is that even though it doesn't have many of it doesn't have many link from other subjects but it has some link which you need to understand for example fluid mechanics is required for casting and even heat transfer is required okay and even in machining and metal cutting you need what is that for drawing that merchant circle and all you need the basic of engineering mechanics so production is a subject which you should never start at the beginning you should never never start at the beginning okay so never start this subject at the starting and the next one is machine design please please don't do this please don't do this machine design is a out and out continuation of strength of materials see even engineering mechanics you can prepare strength of materials but without what is that strength of materials you cannot prepare machine design so please don't start machine design okay at the beginning fine and even even theory of machines is also not an ideal subject to start at the beginning because i feel strongly for understanding theory of machines better you need engineering mechanics of course theory of machines has lots of weightage compared to engineering mechanics but the continuity from engineering mechanics see the continuity of engineering mechanics and strength of materials is a little bit less but continuity from engineering mechanics and theory of machines is more see without engineering mechanics understanding the first two chapters that is uh, the mechanism and the analysis velocity analysis and acceleration analysis will be very difficult you might get some shortcut method or something but for understanding it properly you need mechanics you need that euler's method newton's method then only will able to have a good flow in theory of machines okay so i won't recommend any of the subjects to be started at the beginning okay i won't recommend any of the subject to be started at the beginning okay 
So now what are the subjects left out? See, and also I forgot. Very sorry. Even, even I won't recommend you for applied thermodynamics. See, how can you start applied thermodynamics? Because without having a base of thermo, you can never start applied thermo. Like cycles, uh, Rankine cycle, Brayton cycle, etc. So never you can start that also. And even I won't recommend you to go for heat transfer. Okay, I will recommend you to go for heat transfer only after completion of only after completion of thermodynamics. Yes, it is it is fine because uh, there won't be that much continuity. But it will be good if you complete thermo and then come for heat transfer so that your mind can adapt to all the heat transfer concept easily. So compared to thermo heat transfer is a little bit easier topic. But still, I will recommend you to complete thermo and even fluid mechanics. The reason was in heat transfer, there is a topic called as convection. In convection, we need lots of application from boundary layer, boundary layer theory. Okay, without boundary layer theory, uh, learning convection, it will become difficult. So I will never recommend these subjects to be started at the beginning. Okay. So if you want to start these subjects, you need to plan it. Uh, based on and even industrial also I can add it in the list because industrial is a subject which I feel that you can cover it at the end because you can cover it in a very less time in a short time so you can cover it that industrial also at the end okay so other than these subjects what I can start okay that is other than these two subjects if you are feeling that sir I'm not comfortable with engineering mechanics I'm not comfortable with engineering mathematics then of course you can go for FM or SOM or basic TD okay these are second preferred subjects. So this is the first ideal subject to start with. If you are not very much comfortable with this or you completed this. Okay, for example, you completed these two subjects in the month of May and June, 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 halfway or something. Then you can go for the remaining these three subjects. Any order, any order you wish. I'm not going to restrict the order in this case. You can go for TD, then SIM or FM or FM, SIM, TD or SIM, FM, TD. It's up to you. It's your wish. Okay. But after this only you need to go for that. Okay, that is that is something which I am very strict. Okay, so after the first category which I said the ideal subject, you can go for it. Those are the subject which you should never start at the beginning. Okay, so once after completing this, that is these two and these three. Now it is your wish because as I completed FM, I can go for heat, HT also. As I completed TD, I can go for HT. So your wish. As I completed TD, I can go for apply TD also. Your wish. As I completed engineering mechanics, I can go for Tom also. So doesn't matter. As I completed SOM, you can go for machine design. And once you got a good idea about mechanics, fluid mechanics and uh, heat transfer, you can go for production. So I hope you, you understood the point. So these are the ideal five subjects which I want you guys to focus on at the beginning of your preparation. And once if you complete these five subjects, each subject will give you a path for starting another subject. TD will give you a path to start apply TD. SOM will give you a path to start machine design. FM will give you a path to start uh, even production and even uh, what is that uh, HT. Okay. And mechanics, of course, I forgot. Mechanics will give you a path to theory of machines. Okay. And mathematics will be used everywhere. Mathematics will be used in FM. It will be used in SOM. It is used in TD. Everywhere, wherever you go in mechanical engineering, these topics, differential calculus, integral calculus, majorly. After that, differential equation. These are the three topics. Vector calculus is also less application when it comes to mechanical. But these three topics has lots of application in all the subjects of mechanical engineering. Okay. So ideally, this should be your preparation plan. If you are planning for one year or if you are planning for one and a half year, then plan it like this. But if you have a short time, as I already said, according to your short time, you need to change the strategy. Okay. So that is what I'm doing it for my students also. If they join a little bit later, then based on the time availability, I'm giving their, uh, what is that? I'm, I'm giving the plan. So based on that, but ultimately I will never recommend even they join late also, even the students join late also, I will not recommend them to start this. Ultimately, either I will go for this if they, if they have enough time, if not, I will go for this. Okay. So if you have enough time, complete these five subjects first then go for any of this as you wish and of course in the steel okay the steel also it is fine there is no there is no continuity which you are going to feel in the steel you can you can study any time okay but if you have lesser time for example you have five months only okay, you have four months only now you have eight months so there is a perfect time you can start with engineering mechanics if you have all that eight months are available for you if you are not going for job if you are free okay then all the eight months is available for you start with engineering mechanics no problem but if you have some five months or four months, but or else you want to prepare with job, then you can go for any one of the subject to start and then you can move forward. Okay. 
so if there is any query uh, comment in the that is comment below i will be answering it to i will be answering to it and if you want any preparation strategy or something like that if you want to discuss with me if you want to inquire about the course how we are organizing the course etc you can visit our website or you can directly contact me uh, my whatsapp number was there in the description it is my personal whatsapp number you can message me if i am not free then i will ask our student administrator to message you but if i am free i will directly uh, connect with you okay so that's it thank you and all the best